Thank you, President Officer. As co-convener of the Lung Health Cross Party Group, I recently heard from a mother about how her school-aged daughter has experienced anxiety, agitation, aggression, depression, shortage of breath since starting vaping, as well as missing school. So can the Minister comment on what further steps that can be taken to minimise these health impacts of youth vaping? Thanks. Minister. I thank Emma Harper for that very important question and I'm really sorry to hear about the effects that vaping has had on this young person. I've heard of similar situations within my own constituency. Children and young people may not fully understand the risks and implications of using these devices or be able to make informed decisions. And that's where our, uh, the work that we did on our Take Hold campaign, directing that specifically at parents and carers to um, provide advice and understand, help understand the risks related to vaping addictions is terribly important. I also met with some fathers who were discussing with me the conversations that they feel they need to have um, with their uh, their children with regards to vaping. So that's one of the areas of work that we're doing. 